Hi, my name is Amanda from Anything Goes, and this is my very first official video, and I decided to jump right in and participate in a challenge called Bloom with Grace, which is hosted by Brenda from Moners Market, and her co-host this month is Tammy from Happiness Created Crafts. The Bloom with Grace challenge is a flower will be picked each month and those that participate in the challenge have to make at least one DIY with the flower that is selected. This month's flower is a sunflower and bees. There is also a $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. And in order to enter that, I will be asking a question and all you have to do is in the comment below my video, write the answer to my secret question along with the three emojis that I selected and it will all be at the end of the video. And as long as you put that in the comments, then you will be entered into the $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. I will have both channels linked in my description box below, along with the playlist and hashtag bloom with grace. I hope you enjoy the videos and let's get our DIY on. Hi, welcome to Anything Goes. I am going to use uh, one of the Dollar Tree home signs that you can find in the crafter square section at Dollar Tree and I'm simply applying some Waverly wax to the home sign. Now you can paint this whatever color you want that goes with your decor but I was trying to go for a neutral look just so it could really fit in with anything. Um, of course I there is a secret question that is a, a part of the giveaway and um, at the end of the video the question for my channel is what is my favorite color and I will give you the answer to that at the end of the video. So um, I would have painted this my favorite color but um, I wanted to go with something neutral. So here I'm taking a sock. I put my hand inside an old sock that had holes in it to wipe off the excess wax. Um, it works perfectly fine for me. And now I'm going to sand to distress it a little bit. You can sand as much or, or not sand. It's up to you, whatever uh, you like. And I realized that I've never worked with one of these little signs before. Um, they're not that easy to sand for the words as far as, or the letters to get inside them. And they're a little rough, so they kind of needed it, but I didn't pull out my sanding paper. So, um, and I'm just showing you. All right, now um, I got some of the Buffalo check ribbon and I'm going from Dollar Tree I'm going to wrap it around the bottom of the sign and for my O that's where I'm going to place a little sunflower that way the O is actually the sunflower now um, I wrapped some twine at around the bottom of the sign and I made a twine bow that I'm gonna hot glue to the bottom. I didn't really have that in my plans, but I thought that it needed a little something more. So, and I'm using one of the Dollar Tree makeup, uh, uh, not makeup, 
mask applicators so I don't burn myself and just making sure everything looks nice and neat. Now um, I'm going to take a lighter and go around to singe off some of the little, you know, pieces of the twine. And these little bee stickers, they were 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So I took one and put it up in the corner with um, my glue gun and I paired the result with um, a yellow stand from the dollar spot at Target for $3, a house, a Just Be sign from Hobby Lobby, and a Ray Dunn house that I'm actually covering the bottom because it says salt on it. All right, now on to DIY number two. So I found these scoring sponges at Dollar Tree, two for a dollar. And I thought that the yellow and the pattern that the sponge has looks exactly like a honeycomb. But I wanted to cover the blue because that wasn't gonna look much like um, our theme. It wouldn't fit in with bees. So I covered it with some nautical rope and then I'm going around with the lighter again to, and I'm sorry that uh, it's out of frame. Um, this is my first time filming something using the tripod. So um, I, I did not do a good job on that. And I am learning as I go. And I just really wanted to participate in this challenge. Um, bloom with grace and I wanted to make sure that I got something ready for that so there is what our beehive looks like and I know a lot of people are, have made the beehives um, the the round ones covering a pot but I wanted to do a little something different um, my own version of a little beehive now for the little bee buttons, they came from the scrapbooking section at Dollar or at um, Hobby Lobby, so they were 50% off right now. And I'm clipping off the back of them because they're little buttons. And I chose to put on four because my family has four bees in it. And I'm making this to represent my family, which is me and my three boys. So you could put as many bees as you want in the beehive, but I'm, I'm gonna hot glue four on and you can place them, you know, wherever you wanted to place them. I was placing them um, kind of in a circular pattern so I left some space in the middle because I'm gonna put um, a little sign in the middle there um, that you'll see later what the sign is going to say. Again, I want to thank you so much for watching and I, um, I'm excited to be on this journey and see um, where this takes me. I really, really want to show people um, other options on how to do things. So um, for the sign, I'm going to use some of the Dollar Tree uh, letters, two of them actually, the, the capital letters, no, three of them. And then I found some scrapbooking stickers I had that are from 15 years ago. I initially thought I was going to use all the Dollar Tree letters, but they were actually too big. So um, in order to fit what I wanted to put in the middle of the beehive, I had to mix them together. So I'm using the teeny tiny little scrapbook stickers and then the Dollar Tree letters as well. And I'm spelling out our beehive. So um, 
at first I wanted to put our beehive directly on the sponge and I tried that with putting the sticker on the sponge and then the Mod Podge on top and that did not stay at all. The stickers just were peeling up and so I had to come up with something else and I thought, oh, I'll use a popsicle stick. You know, cut that into a rectangle. That'll make a perfect little sign. But I couldn't find my popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree. All I could find were the ones from Walmart, the jumbo ones. And that was actually too big. It would not fit in between where I placed the bees. So I'm learning that I need to probably make my project one time before I film it or I need to not film as I'm making things and things change or delete that because um, I didn't realize that that would happen when I craft I am in my zone and I if I have to make adjustments I just go find something that I need to replace it real quick and make that adjustment so um, it's hard for me to plan something out when I have the, the vision in my mind and I have all the materials together, but then something changes and I, um, so here you can see I'm trying to put down our hive um, using one of the Dollar Tree rulers directly to the sponge. But um, like I said, I could not get it to stick with the Mod Podge. I did like, I did prefer, oh, it's not our beehive, it's just our hive. So here I found a little brown tag just to give me some cardboard and I paired it with a bottle of honey from Walmart and a description of my hive, uh, which is a Hot Mess Express um, Ray Dunn mug. And I think it came out really cute. And here is the final images of both projects together. So again, my secret question is, what is my favorite color? And the answer is pink. So to enter the giveaway for this monthly challenge, you need to comment below the video, pink, and also add these three emojis, a high pink hibiscus, a pink tulip or red tulip, and another pink hibiscus. And that will enter you into the giveaway.